This is Todd Reese with Cow Sod English. I'm here at Chiang Rai, in Chiang Rai, uh, about two kilometers from the Tamawang Cave Complex on day two of the rescue effort. And uh, we're back with more good news. The, we have confirmed that the fifth boy uh, was just brought out of the cave at, uh, at what time? Uh, 4.45. 4.45 p.m. Now, the rescue operation started at 11 a.m., and that means that today actually took about an hour less time for them to bring the boy out. And that, that was something they said at this morning's press briefing, was that they were uh, learning the lessons, taking lessons from the first, uh, first go-around yesterday when they brought out four boys, uh, said to all be in good shape, um, and they thought they could speed the effort and get them out more quickly. So it sounds like maybe they're getting good at this. Um, so the, fi the fifth boy, uh, if you're just joining us, the fifth boy has been brought out of the cave. Um, just about... what? Just about 15 minutes ago. And, uh, and, and we're here to give you the good news about this. Um, we expect a sixth will be right along with them as they're being brought out in pairs. Um, again, the um, over more than 90... Expert divers are involved in this operation, but working directly with the boys are um, 18, uh, there's 13 expert foreign divers and five Thai Navy SEAL divers um, physically guiding them in pairs, the boys in pairs, but also each boy has two divers, one in front, one behind, guiding them through this very difficult uh, cave. Now, the, there was a lot of heavy rain over, overnight last night, um, and that was some concern as if that would impact the water levels. Um, officials this morning did address that, but they sounded still confident that they would be able to affect uh, a, a successful rescue, rescue operation today. And it sounds like, uh, so far, so good. Um, a lot of people uh, uh, were skeptical about this plan. And certainly it was a, a plan of last resort, bringing them out through a chimney or drilling a hole, doing something to stabilize in there, be a lot less risky. Um, but this was the plan that's gone ahead. And so far, uh, it seems, seems to be going great. Um, that means with five boys out, now seven remain inside, plus their coach. Um, so, of course, they're... We're, we're, we're not out of, uh, they're, they're not all out of danger yet. Well, everyone, I think everyone wants to see everyone come out of that cave. Um, we, we don't, we, we, uh, it's pure speculation, but I would imagine that the coach who led them in there and seemed to care so much for them would, would likely be the last one to come out. I find it hard to believe that he would uh, uh, come out before any of the boys do, but we don't know. We, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully we'll see soon. Um, so again, if you're just joining us, we have confirmed that about 15, 20 minutes ago, the fifth boy was uh, brought out of the cave and is currently on site in a, in a field tent undergoing medical evaluation. We're expecting a sixth, probably if, it's, if yesterday is any guide to go by, uh, a seventh and an eighth, um, maybe more. We'll see. We know that the, from this morning's press briefing... They were trying to uh, bolster, add additional oxygen supplies along the way. Of course, they have a resupply line. It's a long trip. They have to stop, refill their canisters or change canisters, get new air to keep moving on. So just mounting the supply line on this is a, has been a, a massive logistical, logistical effort. Um, so a, there was some possibility that maybe they would bring out more than four today. Uh, but we don't know. We'll wait and see, and hopefully the good news will keep on coming. Uh, please, for more information, check out cowsodenglish.com. Uh, my name is Todd Reese. Uh, I'm with Jintamat Saxon Chai uh, for Cowsod English in Chiang Rai. Thank you.